What's up, tubers? It is me again with another uh, another one of my wonderful and unprofessional reviews. But I know some people like these, and I tend to do reviews on things that are not common. Um, so that is what I'm doing here. This is a, a review of the RCA Cambio Windows tablet uh, with the attached keyboard. Uh, I got this at Walmart about a year-ish ago for right around 80 bucks. And so I'll stop the review right there and say, if you can pick this up for 80 bucks and you're not expecting a Surface Pro uh, level performance out of it, get it. It's it's great. I mean, you can't even get a copy of Windows for 80 bucks, let alone a, a tablet with a keyboard and, and everything ready to go. Um, if you need something faster, if you're not patient, if you need more power, um, something with a little more spit and polish on it, don't buy this. You know, save up and get at least, uh, you know, a, a Surface or the Surface 3 or whatever, Surface Pro something uh, with some more juice. Um, the reason I say that is because you can see here some of the specs. In fact, it's got them all right here on the side. Uh, you know, you're down on some of the specs. You got a um, the Intel Atom processor. I think it's like a, it's a dual core, maybe 1.2 gigs on each core. Uh, 32 gigs of storage, which is not much after Windows takes up most of it. Um, you've only got 2 gigs of RAM in here. It's fairly slow. Uh, the display you know, doesn't look that great on the box, but I'll show you. It's actually a fairly nice display. Um, it's got decent battery life, I would say. It's got some pretty cool features here that um, I didn't expect. It's got uh, a full-size USB port on it. It has an HDMI port. It's a it's a it's like the micro HDMI out, but it's got one. It has a SD card slot for memory expansion, so that 32 gigs of storage is suddenly not such a huge deal anymore. Um, it's it's kind of neat, actually. And like I said, it has the built-in keyboard with it. Um, so I will fire this up and kind of just show you. Uh, it's got the button over here on the side. And then I think maybe even right there right away, you can probably see the display looks kind of nice. It really does. Um, let's go ahead and log in. Uh, you know, I used this for, um, I transported it from home to work when I was finishing up college last year, and I wrote a couple papers on it, did a few of my web posts on it, and for stuff like that, it was great. For browsing the web, even, I would say it's just a shade slow enough to where it's kind of frustrating um, watching any kind of movies on it. Uh, I'm talking about YouTube or whatever. It will do it. you got to be patient. Things like that uh, will frustrate you if that's what you're after with it. Um, the, uh, in fact, see, I've still got the screen protector on here. And one of my complaints about it is that the, the screen sometimes is not so responsive. But I always tell myself it's because I never took that off. Um, so, I, I mean, I'm reselling this. I'm, I'm done with college now. So that's why I left it on there. But if you take it off, you probably won't have problems with the screen. Um, Right away, I would say that uh, one of the things, if you've used a, a Surface tablet at all, either the RTs or the Pros, with the, the keyboards that Microsoft put out, you're going to know how firmly they attach to the tablet itself. Uh, this RCA is not like that. It just kind of comes off, you know. The connectors snap on there, but just to make the connection. They don't, like, they don't hold the thing on there very firmly. Okay, so that's one difference right, right away. Um, the other thing is this keyboard is, it's adequate. It's not great. The keys are a little, you know, some of them are, are fairly easy to press. Some of them kind of rock side to side. I don't think you can really see that. Um, and depending on where your hand happens to, your fingers land on the, on the thing, you, you may press it and it, likes to slide your finger over. The R key is a, is a good example of that. Um, it may not exactly register a key press. Overall, the keyboard is, is adequate. It's okay. I, I wrote with it. The thing I had more trouble with was the trackpad. And you can see here, it's, it's in, inset into the rest of the hand, uh, armrest here, or wrist rest. And it doesn't have like a clear defined, the, the top and bottom do, but it doesn't have a clear defined edge on the sides. And what I found is it's, and it's actually almost a bit too wide. So where I'm trying to, you know, right tap and hold or, you know, left tap, um, it just became a little wonky for me. 
I, I didn't use it a whole lot. Maybe you get used to it. But I think the thing is just a shade too wide. And again, I found this not as responsive as I'd like it to be. But for $80, uh, you know, I wasn't really complaining about it. Um, Performance-wise, it, uh, you know, it more or less meets the mark. Uh, let's just pull up, uh, I don't know, I think we got Edge on here. Oh, you know, I'm not even connected to the internet right now. See, it'll it'll pull that up. And I don't even know what it's doing now. It it It's not perfect hardware-wise. Sometimes you come up with, with weirdness. Let me go ahead and connect to the network here. Okay, I've got it connected to my Wi-Fi. Um, I don't know for some reason it's not like an not like an edge. Uh, okay, so typical Windows circle of death here. You know, you click on the Windows button and it doesn't respond for a minute. Um, I don't know if that's so much a thing with the tablet as it is with Windows. But this is some of some of the kind of stuff that you can expect uh, with a, a little tablet like this. Uh, here we'll just we'll kind of browse around here. You know you can you can see it's it's trying. Um, as long as you're patient, you know things seem to work all right. I would really like to get on the internet here and. We'll go old fashioned explore, see what we can get up. Because I'd like to show you the you know the responsiveness of um, the internet so you can see if it's something maybe you want to deal with. While that's doing whatever it's not doing, um, here, I'll show you the sides here. And of course it's got a built-in kickstand. Uh, not like the surfaces that click out and stay there. This one's pretty floppy. Um, it gets the job done. I think it's got yeah, it's got like plastic strap in there that holds the the kickstand onto the tablet and then on this side you've got most of your your stuff uh, there's your um, HDMI out up there that little hole right there in the middle is DCN I'll show you the funky non-standard charger that comes with it uh, I don't even know what is that one I don't even know what that port is off the top of my head uh, then you got the power button and then you've got um, uh, that's the headphone. I'm sorry, that's the headphone jack, power button, and then you got USB. And then on this side, let's see where is the? Um, I'm going to show you expandable storage is right here. This is where your uh, SD card, micro, is it micro or mini SD card, whichever it is, uh, would slide in here. I had a 32 gig card in here, worked just fine. Um, all right, let's see if I can get some internet going here, guys. And, you know, really right on cue, this is part of the problem with this little tablet. Like, I don't know what it's doing now. Uh, it looks like it's trying to do something, but there's no indications. I can't get the internet to roll. I'm going to reboot it real quick and see if I can uh, clear this out. Okay, it's booting back up here. Uh, while it's doing that, I'll show you the... Here's the charger they, they uh, send you with it. Uh, basic deal there. And then here's the... <laughs> Here's the end that plugs, it's teeny tiny that plugs in to charge your, your tablet. I don't know why they chose this connector. I mean, why not even, uh, you know, a mini USB or something? Why this? This reminds me of the old Nokia phones, like, back in the day. But, whatever, that's, that's what they did. So, um, I ended up buying another charger, pretty much just like it. I uh, kept one here, and then one at work. So, it is trying to do stuff. Let's give it another shot here. See if we can get her to come up. All right, so I, I can't get the internet to come up. But anyway, uh, you know, you can open the mail icon here and see. You know, that was fairly responsive. And Windows Store. Yeah, that comes up all right. So, you know, you have things like that. It, it will... Uh, it will do what you need it to do, uh, for the most part, except surf the internet. I don't know what's wrong with that. I, I just did a restore on it, um, uh, and maybe it's downloading some stuff in the background. I have no idea. But anyway, this kind of gives you a, 
a look at it just to see if it's uh, you know something that will fit your needs uh, it does come with um, you know the main four flavors of office on it they're at least the three important ones to me a word excel and powerpoint so um, that's pretty much that if you got any questions let me know it's a good buy for less than 100 past 100 i'd probably stay away from it later